Hey, what's up coffee explorers? So in this video, we're gonna do a deep dive into the coffee shop that is the lobby of the building that I'm currently living in. It's called the Cloud Kitchen. And uh, a couple videos ago, in my first time out since the lockdown, I ended up going there as the first coffee shop that I actually successfully scored at getting a cup of coffee at. And I took a iced egg coffee uh, back up to my apartment to try and uh, today we're gonna go through their entire menu down in their restaurant so uh, stay tuned you'll find with a lot of these little hole-in-the-wall places here in Vietnam is quite frequently they are actually like the living room to the owner's apartment or house or whatever. Now, being a Westerner it can feel a little bit awkward but a lot of these places are some of the gems that you will find. So here I am sitting at the Cloud Kitchen in Saigon, Vietnam, and I am getting ready to go through their coffee menu, and we are starting off with a Cafe Fin, uh, which is a hot black coffee brewed in one of these cool little devices here. Let's check out and see, see how good it is. Here we have our, our nice black coffee here. Let's give it a go. Well, it's, uh, it's definitely got a, a nice, strong, strong, dark flavor to it, um, just as you would expect out of a Vietnamese coffee. Um, just the perfect amount of, of uh, ratio between water and, and uh, coffee grounds. It's definitely a pretty good cup of coffee. Yeah, this is a really good coffee. It's nice and sweet, chocolatey. It's definitely something that you would really enjoy, no matter what kind of coffee you enjoy. And just like that, it's gone. Here comes round three, we are going to do a blended drink. It's also known as coconut coffee, and so let's check this out. This should be pretty good. It's kind of like a milkshake. Alright, coconut milk coffee. Let's give it a go.
Oh yeah, that's a good one. They use this awesome coconut uh, ice cream in it, and they blend it together, and the mixture of coconut ice cream and the coffee together is just a great, great mixture. The only problem with it is the brain freeze. So next on the list, it's gonna be their egg coffees. Now we're on to the hot egg coffee and I tell you what this thing is hot it's burning my fingers so uh, let's give it a quick little taste of the cream and the chocolate on the top and see how that goes and then we'll mix it up and, and uh, give it a second taste. Oh my Oh man, that is good. The, the, the egg cream on top of this coffee, it's like, uh, uh, if, if, you've ever, if you've ever eaten like a uh, uh, sugar cookie batter with maybe a little bit of, a, of a cocoa powdering on top with it, oh man, this is just amazing. In fact, I'm gonna take another sip of that before I stir it up because it would be a waste not to try that one again. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, I gotta tell you, if you wanna try an egg coffee while you're in Saigon, you need to come to this little place. It's not easy to find, but the Cloud Kitchen in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam is the place to come if you want an egg coffee. Seriously, you don't want to waste any of that. All right, so now it's all stirred up. Let's give it another another go. Mm. Wow, that is phenomenal. Oh, egg coffee, it's the nectar of the gods, I tell ya. Alright, so now we are moving on to the iced egg coffee. Man, the, the caffeine that I'm going through right now after, after four cups of coffee is just blowing my mind. So here's to number five. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, the cool thing is, is when you go from hot to, to cold egg coffee, it's a completely different experience. One, it's like a really thick hot chocolate but it's not the, of course, not the same flavor um, as a hot chocolate. But that, that's kind of the consistency you get. But then when you move on to having it as as an iced uh, egg coffee, then it's more like a wonderful, wonderful milkshake. It, like, and I, I'm not even gonna say milkshake. I'm gonna say more like a, almost like a mudslide. It's it's thick, but it's thin. It's uh, it's easy to drink. It's not gonna. You don't need a, a spoon to really drink it. 
I mean, you may want to use a spoon to stir it up a little bit, but other than that, yeah, definitely try both hot egg coffee, iced egg coffee, and uh, let's get back to drinking this iced coffee. Let's stir it up for now, though. Oh, that goes down easy. That is so good. Moving on to the next one, which is the cream coffee, and uh, it looks like it's pretty amazing. It's uh, like a coconut milk coffee, only it's got uh, cream, uh, a thick whipping cream, and a heavy dusting of some cocoa powder on the top of it. Um, so yeah, let's give this one a go. Cause it looks amazing. Mm. Well, the main mix is just absolutely, it's a, it's a great mix. It's really all I can say about it. It's nice and creamy, um, sweet, cold, not too sweet, not too cold. Um, it's not really like a milkshake, it's more like a, you know, like it's a, a, a liquid that's on the verge of freezing, but not, not exactly frozen. Mm. Let's stir this cream into it. Well, now that it's stirred up, let's give it another try. Yeah, it's got way more of an ice creamy flavor to it now. Definitely a pretty good one. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, Kill this one off and then we'll move on to the final one which is their version of a caramel macchiato. So here's the caramel macchiato. As you can see, it's fairly similar to the cream coffee and to the coconut coffee. Uh, again, the coconut coffee didn't have the whipped cream on top. The cream coffee didn't have the caramel anywhere in it, and the caramel seems to be just all over the inside of this glass. The color of the of the drink itself seems to be quite a bit darker, so. Uh, Let's give it a go, see what happens. Mm. Wow, for being such a similar drink, it's definitely way different than the last one. Um, the caramel isn't too bad. This one isn't blended as well. It just kind of looked blended. Uh, so it's got it's got the ice in it As you can see stir it up a little bit more 
And then let's, let's drink it. And we'll be bouncing off the walls for the rest of the day. So yeah, seven cups of coffee. That's a, that's a lot of coffee to be drinking. Tell you what. <laughs> Oh yeah, get that Vietnamese coffee with that caramel in it. Oh, yeah, that is, that is phenomenal. Um, so, that has been the review of the coffee menu of the Cloud Kitchen in Vietnam. I highly recommend this place. Uh, I will leave information for it down in the description. The website is cloudkitchen.tv. Uh, check them out. They've got some food, they've got some smoothies, they've got uh, mojitos, they've got fruit juice. Uh, definitely a good place to come. So, uh, definitely, if you're here, go to the Cloud Kitchen. And I'm going to head on out after this, after I finish this cup of coffee and go extend my visa for three months. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to check on out of here. So as always, sip exquisitely.